right, folks, this again is uh, your boy DJHD. This is my review of the JMAZ uh, event facade uh, booth. And um, this is basically a, a, your typical DJ facade. Um, I really like uh, this facade when I saw it online. For one, it looks a little bit different from all the other typical DJ facades that you've seen from ADJ and others. Uh, the, the frame is typically white or black. Uh, white, you know, is great for weddings, you know, your, your wedding uh, DJ setup. But I know I didn't just want white because I do a lot of weddings and a lot of other different types of parties. So I wanted to have um, something that was more neutral and black. I feel like it looks okay, but you know, when you're doing a wedding and you have the black frame or the black trim, you know, with the white uh, scrim um, behind it, it just doesn't look as appealing to me. So when I saw this frame um, with the aluminum trim or frame, uh, I have, I happen to have some DJ uh, speaker stands um, made by Ultimate and they're they're aluminum so this would match perfectly and whether it's in the white or with the black scrim and I'm gonna swap this out and put the uh, black scrim in there so we can look at the difference from the pictures that I saw online I thought it was very appealing so uh, I pulled the trigger and the price was very reasonable and uh, it's very lightweight very super lightweight I mean this whole this whole this whole facade is like I'm one-handed picking this up real light easy to set up and you can hide your table or you know your rat's nest of cables back here and um, no problems I'm gonna put some up lights behind here to give uh, to give you an idea of what it looks like and this is what it looks like with some up lights behind it and this is most likely the setup that I'm gonna use I'm gonna put um, I know some DJs put light bars um, behind the facade I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use up lights behind it. And I do have a DMX controller, so I will be DMX uh, controlling and um, coordinating the lighting uh, behind the facade to match the ambiance of the room. So this is this is the white, this is the white scrim. I'll show you what it looks like with the black scrim. And this is what it looks like with the black scrim on it. A slightly different look. And uh, basically, all we did was uh, pull the, the Velcro off of the white ones and then put it down, put, uh, lay the black scrim down on top of the frame and, and just press down. That's it, real easy. Real easy, just took a few minutes. You know, you transform your look. Now, obviously, up lights won't work behind the black scrim. So there are a few things you can do, like put lights in front of the scrim. But what do you guys think? You like the black or the white? Let me know in the comments. So this is the um, black facade with some up lights in front of it. This is a DJ tip, pro tip for, for my DJs out here, man. If you've got black scrims, uh, whether it's on your facade or on your um, uh, the scrims on your tripod, your speaker stands, you just take your lights and you put them on the outside, in the front or on the side or however you want to do it. Um, I, I like this look. I like this look when I've got, you know, it, like sometimes when I have like back to back to back weddings, sometimes I get bored with just doing the same old thing over and over again. So, um, you know, instead of just doing white, white all the time, I might just switch it up and do the black. So, but let me know, guys, let me know, let me know in the comments what you prefer, the black or the white. And don't forget, guys, practice and enjoy.